Today I'm going to share with you seven things which are going to make your app more beautiful, more engaging for higher success. Stick around. My name is Rafael and I'm today here with tutorials.eu. Today we're going to be talking about both user experience and user interface design and why they're so important for the development of your app. At the end of this video, you're going to be equipped with free online tools which you can use today. They're going to help you improve the design of your app as well as to test it more efficiently. You can submit your work in the survey which you can find in the link below. In the next video, we're going to go through your work and give it feedback so you can make improvements right away. Before we get into the seven tips, you need to know the following. The design of your app is what's going to make it either sink or swim. So what you need to think about is that we all love to experience things which are beautiful. We love to experience things which are pleasurable and we want to use things which are actually useful. So if you are able to implement a mindset to your work, you're going to see great improvement in your app and actually make it more successful. By the way, as a reminder, please submit your answers in the survey below. That will be a great help for me and Dennis because we are preparing a full UX UI design masterclass and your input is going to help us make it specially tailored to you. Let's get into it. First thing you need to do is to make an amazing first impression. When a user arrives in your app and they find the design actually interesting, they're more compelled to stay around, to explore it and know more what you're doing. If you're not able to nail that first impression, they won't be there to explore it as much as you want. Fair enough how you can test this. There's a very easy technique called the five second rule technique. Basically what you do is to place your app in front of your target audience and let them absorb it for five to 10 seconds. Then you remove it and you can ask questions from the things they remember, the things that call their attention, what they think the app is about. This is a great approach to have meaningful conversations and know if the app actually caused that first impression that you wanted. Speaking about impressions, tip number two, your color needs to be on point. It's a well researched that the colors have an influence in how you feel in a certain environment, your emotions, how you judge other people, and even your memory itself. This means that having the right color choice is gonna be super important for your app. My go-to color generator and picker is provided by Adobe. Adobe provides a color wheel which allows you to create several own palettes by playing with your primarily chosen color. Usually, and do let me highlight this one, usually it's always a safe bet to actually choose complementary colors to use inside your app. This allows you to create a certain contrast in terms of what is important and what is not important. And tip number three, do highlight what is important. Make use of design elements to highlight key aspects of your app and help your users navigate in it. Just imagine that your app is actually an e-commerce. It's pretty safe to say that the people that are there are trying to buy something. So if you are able to create a certain hierarchy, for example, of the colors that we just talked about and create a contrasting color in the button that says buy, you're actually helping the user to fulfill what they're looking for, actually to buy something. And it's also super helpful to you because you are indeed trying to sell something in the first place. Other thing you have to take into account is the typography, the font of your titles and your body text need to be matching, need to be harmonious. Not too different though. My favorite tool is font.joy. It allows you to mesh different fonts which are really combinating with one another. It's super fun. You should give it a go and basically find the best fit for your app. Tip number four, simplicity. Make your app simple. A user when comes in your app is trying to fulfill a certain goal. So you should make that goal reaching quite effortless. If they are not able to use your app, please bear in mind this, your app doesn't work. Tip number five, make the navigation of your app easier. Help your users find the right direction for them to fulfill their goals. Point them in the right direction. And most importantly, don't add many clicks in between. Don't make the process hard. That will likely increase their frustration. They will drop out without fully, fully fulfilling the potential of your app. The amazing thing is you can actually test how easy it is to navigate through your app. You can find this free online tool called Ultimate Workshop. In it, you can see if the information architecture of your work makes sense, 
how are your users structuring their information, how they're looking for content, which words make sense, which don't make sense. So if you want to make the navigation for app easier, do try this out, make it a test and see how it will go. Tip number six, build your app for very big thumbs. A common mistake I see around is that the design of apps don't have enough clickable space. This means that the font is small, that the buttons are as well too small, and basically users are not able to click in it. And that leads to frustration, probably they will it will lead to other places in the app which is not where they want or they just think it's not working at all. So make sure that there's enough space in the screen for them to click where they want. And finally, tip number seven, make your approach user-centric. In the end, you're building this to a real person. There's somebody out there with a pain, a need, trying to get something done and they're gonna find your app has a solution to get the thing done. So please bear in mind, to whom are you building this? What are they feeling? What are they trying to get done? If you're able to humanize your work, you're gonna increase the success of your app and as well make it way more user-friendly. That is it guys, those were the seven tips which are gonna make your app more successful and take it to the next level. Do remember to fill in the survey below. You're gonna have your personal designers assessing your work. In the next video, you're gonna give it feedback so you can implement it right away. Thank you so much, I'm Raphael and I'm looking forward to see you next time.